Hey guys, Kristen here. Uh, thank you so much for all the positive feedback you gave me in my last video called 10 Things I Wish I Knew Before Coding Boot Camp. If you missed out and want to see it, you can check it out below. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. I am starting to roll out a video every Sunday, so come back. And if you have any video requests, just uh, leave a comment also below and or send me a direct message and uh, I would love to help everyone out on their coding journey. Today I want to cover a question that has been recurring lately and it's about how overwhelming it is to choose a coding boot camp. And many of you have been asking me how I chose Tech Talent South. So what I'm going to do is walk you through the thought process that I I had and I will list the top things that you should prioritize over anything to make the best decision. I had five schools in mind. They were uh, Tech Town South, obviously, uh, the Iron Yard, Designation, Coder Foundry, and Block. The first one I next was Block. Block is an online coding school, which is great for people who are working full time and if you want to go at your own pace. I nixed that in immediately <laughs> because I've tried Treehouse. I can barely even finish CodeAcademy.com. So I just had to be realistic about it and say, okay, am I really going to finish this program? Most likely not. Even though they have mentors on there, but most likely not. So I nixed that one. Fourth one, I nixed was Designation. Now they are a killer coding school in Chicago and if you haven't figured out yet, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina <laughs> and uh, I could find housing, yes, but it just did not align with my career goals. Yes, it's a lot of user inter interface, user experience, design stuff, which I love. I'm really the front end stuff. However, for career wise, like I want to, well, I wanted to go to a school that could connect me to other employers, and I did not plan on living in Chicago, so it just wasn't smart to go out of state and then try to find a job out of state. So our next designation. Then third was Code Coder Foundry. Another killer school in my area, I live, and since I'm in the southeast, it's based there, and Coder Foundry is mostly .NET. .NET doesn't align with my career goals as someone who's really interested in the startup, entrepreneur, creative scene. So lastly, uh, Tech Town South and Iron Yard, which I agonized over, okay? Um, what definitely did it for me were the teacher's experiences. I, I did research for like six months on this, okay, you guys? and. I loved the energy I got from the Iron Yard. Same with Tech Town itself, but something really resonated with me with the Iron Yard. But you know, guys, you really have to think with your brain and not with your gut feeling because at the end of the day, these companies are a business and you need to make a profit, okay? Now, I talked to both teachers at Iron Yard and Tech Talent South, and the Iron Yard teacher, yes, he got his master's degree in computer science from Berkeley and yes he has taught a graduate class so he knows what it feels like to be in front of students but the teacher at Tech Town South had already taught multiple cohorts and in these cohorts there were people with an actual background in coding and people who knew absolutely nothing and I felt that because of this experience I would learn more and that's what I did it was it was really hard and it, there were <laughs> points when I was like, oh, am I going to regret this? But no, I don't, I don't regret it at all. I'm really glad I ended up doing Tech Talent South. Okay. Notes. Okay, so let's, to wrap it up, uh, I recommend two things. If you feel overwhelmed, prioritize these two things, okay? Your career goals. So think about the workplace that you envision yourself in. Think about the job position that you want to have. If you're leaning towards front end or back end, just go with your gut feeling. Like you should always focus on your strength and improving that. 
because that will be so easy to market, especially when you're new to this industry, you need to get your foot in. And if you already naturally have an eye for a design and user experience, then just head that way because you will continuously be learning more things in this career path. I mean, it's the tech industry, there's always new stuff. So don't feel like you're pigeonholing yourself by focusing on one or the other. Uh, definitely go with your strength unless you naturally have a knack for both uh, look for full stack school, okay? Second, teacher's experience, okay? And it's, it's a huge deal if you think about high school and college. Uh, if you have a poor teacher or if your teacher just doesn't really, doesn't really teach the way you learn, and when you ask questions, they can't really answer your questions. There's just a gap there. There's a disconnect. You're not going to learn. In coding bootcamp, your teacher is so, so, so important. And make sure you talk to the teacher, not go by what other people say, but talk to your teacher and see what their teaching style is. It's very important. And it's imperative to your success. Okay, well, I really, really, really hope that helps. And if you have any other additional questions, uh, just comment below. Or send me a direct message here on YouTube. Or you can find me on social media. I am on Twitter and Instagram as Kristen underscore Leak. Or you can find me on Facebook, uh, my full name, Kristen Leak. Uh, add me as a friend. Uh, send me a message. We'll talk. So. Uh, again, uh, you will see a new video every Sunday, so come back and see me. Uh, have any video suggestions, give them to me. I would love that. Take care, guys. Good luck. Bye.